This video will demonstrate the locations of and provide a brief description of the sacrificial anodes that are located on the engine. There are three anodes located on the F12 and F12X, with an extra anode on the turbocharger of the F12X. Protecting the engine and body of the watercraft doesn't only involve taking care of the appearance. The key is to prolong the life of the equipment and avoid breakdowns through regular maintenance. Every time the craft is in the water, invisible corrosive forces attack the metal parts of the engine. Anodes are placed on critical parts of the watercraft to prevent expensive, inconvenient, and possibly dangerous corrosion from affecting the craft. The anodes act as magnets to attract the destructive forces of corrosion away from critical engine parts. Anodes are basically inexpensive security for the expensive parts of the watercraft's engine. One anode is located on the turbocharger. To remove this anode, just unbolt the anode cap from the turbocharger. To replace the anode, unscrew it from the anode cap. Check the anode for excessive wear and measure it. If it is out of specification, replace it with a new one. Remember, just because the anode may have some corrosion on it, it still may be good. Be sure to measure it. To install the anode, apply medium strength locking agent to the threads. Refer to the service manual for proper torque. Install a new o-ring onto the anode cap and tighten to the specified torque. Another anode is located on the exhaust manifold. Remove the two hose joint bolts. Remove the hose joint. The anode is mounted to the inside of the hose joint with a screw. Remove the mounting screw and the anode from the hose joint. After removing the anode, check it for excessive wear. If the anode outside diameter is worn to the screw head, replace the anode. To install the anode, apply medium strength locking agent to the threads of the screw and tighten it securely. Install a new o-ring onto the hose joint. Install the hose joint and tighten the bolt securely. Now we'll remove the anode on the oil tank. To remove this anode, just remove the cap bolt from the oil tank. Remove the mounting screw and anode from the cap. After removing the anode, check it for excessive wear. If the anode outside diameter is worn to the screw head, replace it. To install the anode, apply medium strength locking agent to the threads of the screw and tighten it securely. Install a new o-ring. Lube the threads of the cap bolt and install the cap. Refer to the service manual for proper torque. The final anode is located on the cylinder head below and slightly behind the throttle body. This anode is similar to the anode on the exhaust manifold. Remove the sub-air box on the turbo model and the air box on the normally aspirated model. The intercooler and pipe are removed for demonstration purposes.
Remove the throttle body. Remove the two bolts and stay and the water hose joint. Once the hose joint has been removed, anode replacement is as simple as removing the screw and anode. Check the anode for excessive wear. If the anode outside diameter is worn to the screw head, replace it. To install the anode, apply medium strength locking agent to the threads of the screw and tighten it securely. Install a new o-ring onto the hose joint. Install the hose joint and tighten the bolt securely.